Well, today would have been the perfect day to go to Ligonier Beach, take a dip in the pool, hang out with friends, but it's been decaying for the past few years, but it soon may get a new life. And I think that this property represents opportunity for the future. The historic Ligonier Beach served generations of families for nearly a century. My parents came here all the time when when they were in high school and they actually met here and lots of people have shared similar stories with me of, of their memories and how they met their spouse, how they were lifeguards here, um, how how they just loved being here every day. The once thriving community space now filled with overgrown weeds and cracking concrete, but plans are in the works to see what can become of this massive piece of land. Township manager Michael Strelick explains Ligonier Township open bids for the master site development plan pool feasibility study. The study committee meeting tomorrow night to assess those bids with hopes that the bid will be awarded at the next Board of Supervisors meeting. That plan will help officials figure out what to do with the land, whether that means bringing the pool back, making it into a park or something else the community wants. If the community does not want the Ligonier Beach reopened as the old Ligonier Beach, then we won't. It's it's the public's park. Some tell Pittsburgh's Action News 4 they want the beach back. I would love to see it back. Yeah. It was really busy when it was open. Mm -hmm. yeah, kids, so, kids I mean, it. kids have to have something to do around this town. Yeah. Melissa Eller, the president of Friends of Ligonier Beach, explains they hope to see a pool aspect included in the plan, but they are open to other options. It's a 1.3 million gallon swimming pool, so we would like to, to use these studies to gather the facts, um, to see what the community wants, to see what could be financially sustainable. But no matter what ends up coming of Ligonier Beach, it will take time. We are moving. It's just on paper, not at the site. The township and organizers plan to have public comment sessions, but those haven't been announced just yet. For now, reporting in Ligonier, Ava Rash, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.